My name is Matthias Mazzucci, and I'm here at Rain Dance presenting Noise Matters. And my name is Pollyanna McIntosh, and I play Rose in Noise Matters, funnily enough. Oh yeah, it's the same movie. Well, that's pretty yeah, I haven't seen you for a long time. <laughs> the film is about uh, noise. Um, not really, I mean, I wanted to find a silly subject uh, that I could take um, to deal with the subject of artistic integrity. So I basically um, used uh, the noise-making process of these characters that go out and find objects in dumps and trash and use everyday objects to generate um, noise. And um, They're like a noise band. But yes. They would never call themselves a band, right? Mm, yeah, they're, 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 too they're called Shame on You. Shame on You, that's the name of the band. <laughs> uh, managed by, by the Captain Monroe, which is the manager, which uh, is a crazy character. Uh, that uh, uh, that's how Rose comes in this story. She's the 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 captain is surrounded always by um, a lot of nameless girls. That except for Rose, which is like the only one that is kind of like um, puts him in his place. I have integrity. He, yeah, he's 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 a wom womanizer, and then she he gets screwed by her. She's the only one that kind of like yeah. Uh, but anyway, to on to continue on the story of the movie. Um, these people are creating all together, uh, and what happens is that um, three people want to do one thing, and then one character doesn't want to do it. And so uh, the, the subject matter is the fact that um, what happens when there is creative struggle, when somebody wants to do something and somebody doesn't, how this uh, affects people. And uh, they are surrounded by bizarre characters. I mean, they, it's like the world I live in, in, in Hollywood, with the volume turned up. I mean, one of the character is like um, strikes and protests uh, all the time because he wants to give uh, psychiatric medication to cows because they're depressed and they should get him. And if they get him, they will volunteer to be slaughtered. So it's a great idea because they're depressed and all these things. And then there is a guy that he works at a, uh, he runs a support group for people that have been abducted by aliens, like a AA kind of a support group. So they're like talking in circle about their experience of abduction. And yeah, so there, it's all, um, there's this sprinkled throughout the film with these characters, which um, it's kind of the phobias that you get to see when you live in L.A. I mean, the people that, that are... It's actually know. very realistic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I guess that's what Noise Matters is about. I got the idea from the film. I was editing a short film called Happy Ending, and I was looking for noise. Um, I didn't know that there was such a thing as noise music. I was just, you know, using the Internet to look for sounds and things like that. And I ran across the thing noise music, and I was like, "Wow, that's that's so weird." So I did some research. I said, "What is it exactly?" And I found that on um, there was an article about the guy that wrote the Noise Manifesto at the beginning of the century, I think like 1905, and his name was Luigi Russolo. He was an Italian, that, and there is a photo of a room with all these huge objects, and he's making noise. And I was like, "This guy is Italian. I'm Italian." What if he was my grandfather, I figured? You know, because he was a futurist painter and I saw his paintings, they were like bizarre stuff. And so the idea came. And I'd like to add probably the reason that Matthias got the idea as well is because he is an artist working in this crazy business world of Hollywood. And that's really what a lot of the film is about, isn't it? About keeping your integrity as an artist when the business starts encroaching in on, on your, your manifesto. It came on quite early because yeah. um, he showed me the script and we're friends and we live in the same neighborhood um, and there's a real community there of sort of, of, of filmmakers and actors who are making their own thing and actors who started producing their own stuff and it's a really vibrant place yeah. <clears throat> in just at the foot of the hills in Hollywood and we were in our local place called La Pubelle and Matthias said oh I'm writing I've written the script I want to read it and I was like I think that um, if somebody watches the film it should at least I, I don't like anything but indifference. I, I don't really know what what emotion would steer uh, my movie in, in someone uh, because I've seen all different emotions. But as long as somebody rather hates it or loves it, that's what I kind of want, like, to create a reaction. This is how I see it. There's Elliot, which I haven't never spoken with, but I see him with his white hair and his glasses. And he's like the father of, of the whole thing. And then there is his children, it's like mosquito coats, kind of. His Is children like are Bob everywhere. Marley, there's just hundreds yeah. of them. No, there's like you know hundreds of, of of vibrant young people, which I guess I guess what this is about that are that are 
in the um, making their first, taking the first steps in, in into the industry. And so, yeah, I imagine it like just last night, like a painting of Elliot like this, and all these people with their rain dance shirt on. <laughs> I have I have a weird imagination.